Hello everyone, welcome back. So today I have a product here that was sent to me from an Amazon seller and they did not ask me to make a video. They asked me to give my thoughts. Well, I need some views and you may need a solar panel and I think it's worth a video. So hopefully they see this. They contacted me on my other channel where I have my RV and some solar stuff and I'm gonna put this on both channels because that's what I'm gonna do. This is called Golden Soul. Maybe Golden Solar, Yellow Solar. I don't know whether they come up with that name, but it's probably a Chinese manufacturer on Amazon. And the link is in the description, the affiliate link. If you click on it, I'll get, you know, a few cents per order or whatever. That's not why I'm making a video. I'm making a video because I want more views and I want you to see other stuff that is beneficial because you know when we're in ham radio and we're in hurricanes or natural disasters, you're going to need portable power to power your stuff. Now, I'm going to use this in a test right now and show you outside. Um, footage from yesterday and today on what I saw on the current and the voltage of this device and I want to make something clear here now when they send this to me I have already used this and tested it now I cut the end off this came this comes with um, four little adapters and a USB for charging your phone a USB-C for charging your phone or other devices that are USB and then a DC output now this DC output, I cut the end off and I unfortunately lost the first video I made on this in the house because it's hot as hell out here right now. So uh, I'm going to just tell you why I did this. Normally, if you have one of those Jackery or Fish Fry or whatever they call them, uh, uh, I forget some of these names that are weird on Amazon, but they're like 200 watt hour portable inverters that go from 12 volt to 120 have a lithium ion battery and you would use something like this to charge that via the DC port okay now I in this video needed to test the voltage and current and I'm using my bio Weno lifepo 4 lithium iron phosphate battery ch uh, charge controller with this and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put Anderson power poles on here with a pigtail that goes to the charge controller. Then I'm gonna put Anderson power poles on here so that if I wanna use this for a DC output, I snap this on. If I wanna use it for my bio window for charge controller, I snap this on. But for the purpose of this video, I'm not gonna use these and I'm not gonna use the charge port for the phone. I'm going to test this in direct sunlight out in the yard and I'm gonna you know, give you an idea. How do you calculate solar wattage? They say this is a 60 watt panel. Let me, let me, Put this together and show you so that you can see how this looks. All right, look, check it out. All right, that is a, claimed to be a 60 watt panel, and I'm going to show you the results on this. Is it really 60 watts? They say 22% efficiency. It is a 12 volt panel. Open circuit voltage is about 18 volts. Uh, it's only like 20 by 13 by an inch and a half at five and a half pounds with the handles. Look, look how easy that is to carry, right? And then a little bag so that you can put your parts and stuff in there. So, I've seen some good reviews on this. Some people said that the Velcro doesn't stick. I'm not sure what they're talking about. I mean, you hear the oh, you can hear the Velcro sticking, so that's good. Um, we're going to check this out right now, and uh, let's get right to it. Let me give a shout out to my sponsors real quick. Ham Radio Concepts is brought to you by HamRadioPrep.com. It's never been easier to learn about Ham Radio before you take the exam. And Ham Radio Prep makes it fun and guarantees your success. Visit HamRadioPrep.com. Use the code ERIC20 to instantly save 20% off every course you buy. Remember the name, HamRadioPrep.com. Okay, so I'm gonna use my fluke meter, which was calibrated, so I know it's pretty good. Uh, last, uh, it's due in May, so we know that fluke is pretty good. This right here is an Amazon special. Now I have another one here. This one is a little bit higher in current readings with a clamp on amp meter, so I'm gonna go with the one that's lower. So in the event that this is more accurate than this, then the power readings you're gonna see on this video are gonna be a little bit higher than what I'm claiming. Um, here's my bio in a battery and I use this for a lot of stuff. This has a Anderson power pole on it and it charges with guess what a DC barrel, but you don't want to plug the solar panel directly into this. You want a charge controller. And remember 
What is the purpose of a solar panel? It is not to power your equipment. It is to charge the batteries that you're powering your equipment with, okay? Now, this right here is my bio and out power 12 and 24 volt, 20 amp solar charge controller for use with lithium iron phosphate batteries only. If you have a different charge controller that is PWM or MPPT, it should work if it takes a 12 or 18 volt input, okay? So this is what I'm gonna do, right? Like I said, I'm going to crimp Anderson power poles uh, on, on these things so I could use this or I could use for other reasons but this is what I'm using here and let me put it out in the sun and give you some readings now what I want to tell you is this just a quick fun fact I've mentioned this in other videos this is a monocrystalline design what does monocrystalline mean monocrystalline means it's cut from one single piece of silicon and a fun fact is that monocrystalline panels will usually have all the edges cut at angles. Why? Well, somebody told me with the tabbing wire and all this that what I've read online, it kind of focuses, I don't know. Let's, let's keep this simple here for video's sake, guys. Monocrystalline usually have the corners cut off. Polychrist, and it's one uniform color, like black. So I can see right here, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 cells here. All right, so I'm guessing it's six volt, six volt, wired in series, 12 volt with an open circuit of about 18. That's how that works. Now, polycrystalline, polycrystalline is cut from multiple sources and that's why it's got a sparkly color and different light blue, dark blue, white, different shades. And you won't see these diamonds or these corners cut on all the monocrystalline, okay? So this is mono, uh, uh, poly, yeah. Polycrystalline does not look like what the cuts on the corners monocrystalline does. So this is more efficient. Polycrystalline is less efficient. It's a little less expensive, but monocrystalline is more expensive because it's more efficient. I'm gonna tell you in these uh, video tests here what I got. This is a 60 watt panel. Can I get 45 to 50 watts out of it? Let's find out right now. Check it out, there's my ghost pepper plant. I grew from seed. We got uh, a whole bunch of I know it looks crappy over here because I'm trying to keep out of the sun. It's burning them up. We got plenty of tomatoes, Carolina Reapers, seven pot brain strain, seven pot primo, cayenne, habanero, serrano, and more. Uh, just wanted to throw you that. So there is the panel in the sun. All right. Uh, it is about 358. I think the clock said like two seconds ago. And it's not, I don't know what this is going to do. So you got the cloud there. All right. It's not full sunlight. I'm gonna test it right now, and then you're gonna see a fast forward tomorrow when it's high noon, 12 o'clock, with um, direct overhead with no clouds, all right? Now I have my, I have two clamp amp meters. Both of them are cheapies, but they're sort of accurate. The other one gives me, this one's giving me the lower number, so I'm gonna use this one. This is giving me 2.8 amps. I have this connected to my uh, BioNO LifePo 4 charger. So I got 13.6 volts coming in. I'm charging my bio in a battery. So basically what would happen is I would run my devices off this right here, right? So that's charging the battery and I'm running it off the battery. So two point, you can see it's changing. Two point, it was 2.83. I saw a max of about 3.45 a few minutes ago. Let me turn the fluke on and we're just gonna get a voltage reading right here off of the solar panel where I have it connected. We do this one-handed. This sucks doing it one-handed, doesn't it? All right. All right. So we have 13.66 volts, which is what almost what that says. 13.5 at 2.856 volts or amps. So 13.66 times 2.82. And see, watch. If I put my hand over it. See how it goes down? Look. All right. So that's at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So let's call it 2.8 amps at 13.6 volts. 13.66 volts times 2.8 amps equals 38 watts. Now, let's fast forward to tomorrow and see in full sunlight at 12 o'clock what the difference is. 
All right, so it's about 12.15, following day, 13.9 volts at 2.86 amps, roughly. 13.9 volts times 2.86 amps, 39.7 watts. All right, so there's still like this cloud, fuzzy moisture up in the atmosphere, okay? But right now with that, at like 12, uh, 12, 20, 13.85 volts, 2.9 amps max, 2.91, 2.92. If I could hit three amps, I'd be happy if that mo upper moisture goes away. All right, here we go. So 13.91 volts at 3.08 amps. I saw a max still with not a 100% clear sun because, because um, it's got that, it's not a cloud, it's, I don't know, moisture up near here. 13.93, so we're going to take the max reading here. 13.95, 3.04. All right, 13.95 times 3.04. 42.4 watts, okay. So I'm going to guess it's 45 to 50 watts if I had a 100% clear sky angled perfectly, but that's what you'd expect out of a little foldable solar panel like that. All right, 14 point, well, it's a little bit, wow. Okay. That's 15 max at 2.72 volts. Or let's take an average here. 14 point, let's do 14.5 at 2.9 amps. 14.5 times 2.9 amps. 42, so yeah. Um, I'd say 45 watts, 100% clear sunlight. So as a recap, there you go. Uh, when the voltage goes up, looks like the current goes down. But listen, I think it's a pretty neat, neat uh, device being that it's so small and portable. I could totally keep my ham radio running all day on a Bioena with that solar panel right there. And the link is in the description on Amazon um, if you wanted to purchase that. The affiliate link I'll put there. If you purchase that through my link, I'll get a few cents off everyone on Amazon, of course. I have to disclose that, but, you know, I didn't make this video for, you know, $3 of commission. I just made it because they didn't even ask me to make it. And, you know, I have the other ones, the, the Samlex, the, uh, Go, uh, the um, Global Solar 24-volt camouflage foldable blanket. So uh, I think this is definitely, definitely usable and if you look up here again at the sun if this comes out look it's not even full 100 percent sun all right if that yeah now it is well yeah, it's now it's still fuzzy we still got some moisture up there if that was you know one of those clear blue skies might get better results than that but um that's what we're looking at about 42 to 44 watts is the max I, i've gotten on here and uh so i'm hoping that in unobstructed solar you'd get about 45 to 50 and that would be suitable with the efficiency loss and all that so thanks for watching everybody stay tuned more videos are on the way this is kj4 yzi